Good morning to each and every one of you. And me and my smart ways have brought you probably to the only place the island that's raining today. <laughs> no, not really. There's a rain on the west coast, but up here definitely, definitely overcast and stuff. I actually am working with the umbrella right now, so if you're getting a little bit of a funny echo, that's because it's coming through the umbrella. But it's a beautiful, beautiful day in Barbados. Either way, it doesn't make a difference. All right, we're in, down in the parish of St. Peter right now. We're in Spikestown itself. And we're just to the south of what was Hugo's. I say was because I'm not too sure really what's happening with that. It still hasn't reopened. Um, but that is Hugo's restaurant that you all would be familiar with. Some of you may have eaten there in the past. And I've only heard amazing reports about it as well. But I'm not too sure what's going on. That's been closed for a period of time now. So I don't know if they're coming back for this season or what. So I don't want to speculate. And I've done enough speculating this week already. Beautiful accommodations directly opposite here, as you all will see. Some of them being worked on still. This area has just developed a lot with uh, no condo style buildings and stuff over the last, I would say, five or six years or so. Maybe a little bit longer. You know, I may mean, get lost with time for sure. But anyhow, down here is a beautiful, beautiful area. All right. Um, our walk has changed a little bit from what was planned originally um, because of the pending uh, weather conditions and stuff. But don't mind. We're still going to have a nice morning together. We're going to share some love and we're going to share some beauty. And we're most definitely going to share some peace and care. So good morning to you all. I think it's a good place to start our serenity prayer from this morning. And we can do it looking in this direction. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change. The courage to change the things that we can. And the wisdom to know the difference. Your will, not ours, be done. Amen. Good morning to each and every one of you all again. It is a little bit tricky with the umbrella, so hopefully this rain will ease off and I'll be able to put it back into our bag and we can roll on. As you can see, we're starting to see, so I guess it's a good place to do a 360 from so we can enjoy this this morning. It's not the bright blues and stuff that we've been seeing over the past few weeks. However, it's the best that we have today and the best in Barbados is the best that you can really want anywhere in the world. So here we go. Yes, yeah, a beautiful, beautiful place. Now, you know, it's so strange. It feels strange to me, anyhow, um, that you can come to one of the cities in Barbados, or one of the towns in Barbados, which is Spikestown, and you can go swimming at some spectacular beaches in the town itself. Now, I don't know how all over the world it works, but I know for sure that when I came to Spikestown, when I was a little kid, and I saw the beaches down in here, it blew my mind immediately. Because I couldn't fathom how these beaches could be running this parallel to one of the busiest places on this side of the island. As you can see, we've been doing little marks here, but the high tide has been challenging us. I just want to show you that I did remember our EMC logo this morning. Someone will look at that today and wonder what it is, and that's the objective here. Just give me a second to harness up, because as you can appreciate, I'm doing all kinds of stuff this morning. and working with the camera at the same time, so I'll do my best to try and keep it as smooth as I possibly can. Alright, start to walk on. Beautiful morning, grey skies, but I know how it will be later on. There's a system that's coming in, well not coming in, it's just to the, the east of us, which has everything a little bit unsettled. It's going to be going north from what the predictions are, but it has um, some of the clouds getting pulled around that would normally not get pulled into our area, so this is how it is. Well not that they wouldn't normally get pulled into our area, but it is assisting by pulling in some unusual moisture and stuff just around the island itself. I saw this weird concoction. Sorry, it wasn't in its real prime. We can look at it. But it's a rowing boat that someone has put on platforms on his side to make it something like a, a catamaran. I guess there's an additional hull over on this side here, which would be in a trimaran. And that is obviously a, a fun pedal boat. You can see the pedal actions as well that we used to be there for it as well. Very much man-made. But that's how people are here in Barbados. We invent a lot of things. Even if it's a story sometimes, we will do it. Creativity at its best. All right, I'm just looking to harness up just again, so I'm going to stop for a minute. just want to get this bag on fully that I can really do my stretch on my paces. All right, good to go now for sure. All right, we have done Spike Sound before, as you would know. If you've been up on our YouTube channel and you have viewed it at any time, you will know that we have done Spike Sound in the past. Quite a few times, actually, but 
this morning I thought it would be a nice, a nice way to end the week. You know, we have been to a lot of areas this week all over the island, which we'll do a recap on later on. But we've only actually been in the sea once. So I said, well, I know my friends will want to go in the sea more than once this weekend. So I said, well, look at this, give you all a double dose or maybe a triple dose of the ocean. you see how it goes as we go up the, up the path now. Spike Sound, you see down as Little Bristol because it's very busy trade in the early days of England. However, it has, again, its name, Spike Stone. If you all want to Google on that, we've gone through that history already. But if you want to Google on it, please do so by all means. Get all the information on it. What I can tell you is, is that the north of the island went through a stage where I personally think it has sort of like, not died, but definitely um, sort of gone to like a stalemate. But I see a lot of development and investment back into this section of the island. And there are a lot of future plans for down here. Um, there, there are discussions of creating a new jetty or pier for cruise ships. That would obviously not for the, be, be mega sized cruise ships, that would be more of the high ends, like the Silver Seas and those kind of ships. That is what they're talking about. I don't know if it'll ever come to reality, but it is a fairly serious discussion going on right now. I have a lot of investors and stuff. All right, this street doesn't look like really much, but this place has so much in it. We have the PRC Bakery, which by all ways is probably the best pastry shop in the island. Anytime that you go in on a drive of Barbados that involves the north of the island, I would recommend that no matter what time of day it is, you stop and buy some pastries from them because they're delicious. I know for sure because I'm no vegan, but before I was vegan, their meat rolls were amazing. Actually, everything is amazing. But right now, their coconut slices and currant slices are, are what I love. And then they have the turnovers and everything else, salt breads, etc. I'll show you what that is. It's, it actually is a surprising place because you really don't see too much of it and not too much advertising. But it's most definitely a very popular bakery. I mean, there's so many friends on here this morning that have eaten from this, from this bakery here. It's the PRC bakery that I mentioned just now. It is absolutely amazing. Let's say absolutely nothing from the outside, but on the inside have some delicacies that you will fall in love with for sure. And then we have the Orange Street. This is a very, very nice Orange Street grocer. I've actually been in here and had a salad in here. The chef salad is delicious. A little bit pricey for me as a Bajan, but delicious for sure. And it's a nice outing as well, because you're sitting on the boardwalk um, that overlooks this entire area. We're going to eat through the back here. We haven't been through here before, but we're going to ease through now, show you the actual boardwalk as well, so you can appreciate what these places have to offer you when you come down here. It's great to look at it from the roadside. It's also real nice to look at it from the seaside. Sorry about the interference with the umbrella, but I'm still fighting with it in the wind at the moment. All right, and this is the other side of it. Oh, look at these cats. Oh my goodness, how cute. And tell you, I would take home one of those now, but I know my ninja cat would just, just not be happy with that at all. She will not share love with me. That's for sure. Beautiful, beautiful area. Now looking at it from this side, who would think this is one of the, well, not one of the, the busiest place on the west coast or the northern side of the island. Down here it gets extremely busy. This jetty has been deemed unsafe, so they've cordoned it off. You're not able to go on this at all now. Um, we did do that a few months ago, just prior to them cordoning it off. But um, it's now officially cordoned off and you're not permitted to go on this jetty. But this is what they're planning to sort of, I won't say modify, I would say create again in this general area here. I'm not too sure exactly um, what is going on with that, but I do know there are a lot of discussions. And I know for sure that it would be great, I think, to bring a little business to this side of the island for sure. Definitely. All right, down here, if you see any cats, these are all sea cats. They only eat fish. They do not eat meat. We've tried it many times. Uh, my angel and myself used to come down here every Sunday and sit down and uh, you know feed the cats and stuff and just relax and have a breakfast down here after church, I think. Haven't done it for a while, but um, I know for sure one day we came down here and I had a little, few kittens on the area out here, well, a lot of kittens, and we were telling the folks um, they wouldn't eat the meat, look, they wouldn't eat the meat roll, they wouldn't eat it at all. And they said, well, man, it's not, it's not fish, they only eat fish. These are special cats, fish cats only. All right, you can hear lots of water gushing about in my shoes. My shoes are working well. Holes in the bottom, let it in. Holes in the bottom, let it out. Perfect. <laughs> so, all right, anyone that's familiar with down here will know the Fisherman's Pub. It is most definitely a point that most people that live in this section of the island 
visit the section I don't come at you got they offer all types of beach and delicacies and buffet lunches and buffet dinners just give them a call and check out um, what day their menus are set for and then come on down and enjoy some of their lovely food I again have I haven't eaten there for a very long time but I will tell you that everyone that I've eaten that I've heard about this eating there including one of my sisters tells me it's not to be missed so if she can tell me that she's a hardcore Bajan it's got to be great food all right we're going to work our way around here I just want to show you from this end here that there's no beach right in front of Fisherman's Pub but there normally is so that sand will probably build back up but we see going and coming of this here we're seeing a lovely beach in front of here and then sometimes you don't see anything at all as we're not seeing right now um, this is a big drain away area so anytime we have heavy heavy rains um, up in the hills of St. Peter and stuff that drain down here all of this sand will wash out so it's a little difficult for this beach to actually form and keep itself especially in rainy season because you will get a, a, a lot of water that's coming through here because it's going to build up because of the sand under the bridge and then when that bursts and that damage, um, natural dam bursts it will just flow down here and wash away everything in its path of course you can see here is dry just to show you what I'm talking about so you'll understand that's that side of the beach and then up in here is full of water so as you can understand underneath this bridge itself the sand is actually forming a natural dam and it's keeping all this water at bay if we have very heavy rains up in those hills which are St. Peter anywhere up in there it will come down through here and it will come down very very heavy and it will wash out all the sand and burst through all the beach itself all right fisherman's pub again it's a beautiful place to come and have a meal and i'm going to not it's not an advertisement it is just what i know and what i've also heard as well all right this is just a typical town not the most beautiful not the most cosmetic as i had mentioned before um this side this side here definitely has stagnated for a while um you know they had it just hasn't had a lot of major investment in it you can see how it looks it looks just like spikes down <laughs> anyone that's been here over the years will will be familiar with what i'm talking about this is a little bristol beach bar quite a few of them are set up here quite a few on this side here have come up um there was a fire down here before that they lost one of the beach facilities and a couple of buildings in the um, immediate area but i see there are starting back the construction and stuff so that will be back up for you and running but there is some work going on um I would say, you know, you really need to experience, this is a town you need to experience when there are a lot of vendors, because down here you can get some amazing, amazing fruit and veggies and ground provisions from right underneath all of those buildings there is where you'll find all the vendors set up on a day. There's another place called the Just Chilling Bar. Uh, they have up a little rope in the front. I did walk through it earlier on, um, but what we do is we will just go back over to the public thoroughfare and use that. Just want to show you. Many of you have come down here in the past and would have seen this here is an open lot to the sea. However, every little vantage point gets taken, especially if they have someone with a novel idea. And this is a nice little beach facility area here for sure. All right, we don't have to walk too far. I'm just backtracking a couple of yards. And then we will come down through the public access. I don't like to walk through the property if I have up a rope or a chain or anything. You know, I did it earlier on, but I didn't realize it until I got to the roadside that there was a rope up. So I don't want to walk back that way, you know. Okay, as you all know, we had a storm in the past, and this is one of the trees that were, or fell victim to that heavy, heavy storm and hurricane winds. And this has just been all cut up, so forgive down here, it doesn't normally look that way. All right, we look at this beach facility from the other side now. Again, doesn't look like much, you know, this is typical. When, when you come to somewhere like this here and it's not open, it doesn't look like a lot, but then you find all of the beach umbrellas and beach chairs and bar stools coming out. And it takes on its own life from there. Just beautiful area. I love Spikes Town, man. It is so beautiful and amazing. Is that we're walking parallel to the busiest place on this side of the island. You know, right now, obviously, it's early and we're not seeing anyone. But down here, it gets very, very busy. You can see everyone here is sort of like taking advantage of this beautiful beach here by setting up their bars and restaurants on this section. We've done a lot of swimming here before. We've been on that jetty when it was that floating jetty when it was further out. Um, we went out on that as well. It was beautiful. You could always chat YouTube, you know. If you just Google into the channel itself for Spike Sound, you will see all of the videos that we've done here start to come up. Just lovely. Alright, today I have on the bag that brought the umbrella because I was hoping I would not have to use it and I'd be able to leave it in the bag. So 
we're going to go a little further up and then we're going to take another dip here and we're going to give you as much dips as we can today because I know you all are thirsty for the seawater. I have some swimmers in here and some water people in here that <laughs> when they get the ocean, you only have to look at their comments, they go crazy. <laughs> we'll see in a minute. All right, they call this the outpost at 111. I even saw I just say 111 bar. I didn't realize it was called the outpost, but I see a sign up now saying outpost. Um, this is a lovely facility here. This is just behind where the big fire took place, and these, um, this property was saved. It's just lovely out here. Just gonna use this guy's boat, hopefully doesn't have any problems with that. I'm mean, gonna take a little dip here again. Dip number two, keep it going and keep it counting. All right, before we take our dip, actually, no, we go actually see, see, see one thing, right? Got some rains coming. Looks like it's gonna be an umbrella dip again, so let's work our way back up here again. I'm gonna protect the gimbal. Where are you going, sir? Just make sure that we keep everything safe for tomorrow, because tomorrow is another day. Yes, sir. A little bit of a surge here going on. It is high tide. High tide is um, just after 7, 7.25 or something. It is on that day, but I'm sure. But beautiful. sit on raft because when you sit in this raft here I wobble all over the place so I'd rather keep my feet on the ground and do my 360 from close to it where we don't actually have to take it in. Okay here we go guys enjoy Morning, sir. You good? Yeah, wonderful, sir. Wonderful. Just trying to send the world all the beauty that we enjoy every day. All right, folks. We're going to go again. I see some darker makers going on, but I don't see the sun yet. So maybe you'll bring the sun for me. That'll be wonderful. <laughs> I don't mind having, having rain is what we need. As I said before, we're below our average um, annual rain. rain fall count right now after this day. So it'll be good to get a little more rain. Don't want too much at one time though. Uh, little bits by little bits will be much better than a lot. Because if you get a lot, you know how it would be. If you get some serious flooding and stuff, which is not something you really want. So just give me a second to harness back up. That's the thing with the bike when we're doing these walks. You gotta take off, put on, take off, put on. But you know you all are patient people, and you all will be patient away on me for sure. Alright, we're gonna walk again. Umbrella in hand, gimbal in hand, let us go. Alright, this mural is absolutely lovely. I will take you up there and show you um, who sponsors it in a second. But if you look at it, they're actually like, if you're not aware, it looks like two pictures. But then if you get closer and closer, it represents all types of Harrison's cave, etc. And it's done just like a cave, looking into a cave through two different holes. It's beautiful. Get a little bit closer on that, show you it again. As you can see that jetty is most definitely not safe. A lot of the planks and side supports are missing, so that is definitely going to be like that way and accessible for now. But we did catch it with a day break down here before, so you have a look and see. Well, let me get you back on focus on this here, so you can have a look at it. Let's change the angle for you a little bit, huh? Let's see, too much. Umbrella balancing, sorry. No excuses, no excuses. Just beautiful though. Um, this whole area here was. You know, big parties and stuff used to go on this beach before the big fire. You know, they had a massive, massive umbrella here. They used to cover this entire platform that we're going to be going up on. You can see the burns and stuff on it. You can see the burns on the wall. It was a very intense and hot fire for sure. Even the other side of the road has um, taken some of the burn from it as well. All right, you know, just like we were up on the area up in South Coast which is now the sea window known as Cotton Bay House or in that area. Um, we showed all the people that invested in that. So I'd like to do the same here as well. Just let me get the focus going here. You have not done this before, but I thought maybe we should do it this time. I'm gonna take a little walk across it. You can always pause and look at it later on. But 
these are folks that decided to take a uh, rare house wall in Barbados and transform it into something absolutely beautiful. I used to love um, coming down here, well, in a long time ago, coming down here and listening to the bands play. I've only been down here, I think a couple of times with my angel while they were playing, but that was, uh, unfortunately, that was terminated by the fire. I haven't seen any bands down here. I'm not sure if they still do have any smaller beach parts, but I'm not too sure about that. All right, not the most cosmetic place. We're at the back of a, a shopping, shopping complex here. So I'm going to keep the camera on the sea area because obviously this is their general storage area where they put all of their waste and stuff. So I don't want to focus on that this morning. So you'll notice we're going to stick in one direction. But we can fan into the ocean, of course. Just a beautiful, beautiful morning. Quiet, peaceful, serene. Call it wherever you want. But this is why I love 6 o'clock in the morning. I am not antisocial, you know. I love people. But to be honest with you, when I'm coming out here and sharing the beauty of Barbados, I like to share just that, the beauty of Barbados. The, le the less distractions that there are, people or umbrellas and chairs and stuff, the happier I am. Because I want you to see the true, natural Barbados as it is. This way then you will know for yourself that if you are here on vacation, uh, you want to experience what this feels like, this is the time of morning to do so. You're going to need to come down here definitely and experience it for yourself. All right, this is a match nail tree, so as you can appreciate, it's raining, but I do have up my umbrella. Well, I would be definitely doing a little, uh, you know, distraction from here and move off. A little deviation. All right, we did um, show this here, steps, in one of our earlier videos a few months back, and there was no sand here. But as you can see, the sand has started to build again. It is that time of year that the West Coast starts to come back in and sand starts to develop in different areas. Um, so if you are not familiar with the summertime in Barbados, the West Coast is the building time. And then if Christmas comes around in those months and we don't have a big north swell, but we have some amazing beaches for sure, as you would have known in the past. But if you do get that big north swell, it does change it quite a bit. Just one minute, I'll have a little technical things here with my microphone. One second. Okay, let's go again. All right, this morning is just, as I said, a wrap up for the week. It's not being termed, I'm not terming it as a wrap up. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful place to come and walk, but it is our final for the week. So I thought it would bring us to somewhere, somewhere that we haven't been for a couple of months. Okay, anybody wants to volunteer to wash this lovely machine? As you can see, we've had a, an adventurous week. Actually, let's say adventurous two weeks, because I haven't washed that for at least two weeks for sure. Well, I think it went in for service a couple of weeks ago, and that's the last time it got washed. I can't remember the last time I've actually put my own hard work into cleaning that. And that's because I don't really get much time ready, to be honest with you. That sounds a little bit silly for a person that is retired and unemployed, but it's the truth. I'm pretty busy with the project that I'm working on. Busy with you all. I call it care time and love time. When I go home, I go home to share my care and my love to all of those who have commented on the videos. Wow, see, um, Mary used to live here. In his 70s, well, you would know Spike sound a very different way, for sure. 70s, big changes since then. It's beautiful out here. Now, this road we've all talked about before, but you may not have been out with us last time, so talk about it again. This road is all falling away, so when you're coming down here, please stay to the left going in, obviously to the right coming out, but be wary as well, because this is all gone. Um, you'll show you this section here. All this road is eaten out under here. So when you're coming over here, you exercise caution. Just please stay rear right over to the other side for me. If you see vehicle traffic coming, don't try to ease through. Just uh, stop and wait for them to pass. And this goes quite a ways back, this crack. So I would say when you start coming to this corner, I'll show you it as we go along here. But this take place is taking a lot of licks here. No question about that. It's just got pretty bad recently as well. I can't remember seeing it this deep under here the last time that we looked at it. But it's pretty deep now. You can see, so you don't want to be, although it's coral, because it's very strong in that area, um, I wouldn't be driving too close to that for you all, for sure. Just lovely. One of these days when there's a huge north swell, I'm going to bring you all down here and let you all see how this place looks totally different. There are going to be breaks all along here, beautiful breaks coming in, massive surf, and heading on to this cliff area. So we will come back here for sure when there's a big north swell. You know, this place changes a lot. Whenever there's a swell, um, uh, on any of the coastlines, everything looks different. 
and it just looks, starts to look dangerous. I mean, you can come down here in the West Coast, you're saying, no, you're saying, ooh, down there looks so calm and peaceful and lovely. But when it's a big north swell, you do not want to be in this ocean, that's for sure. Just like the South Coast, East Coast. East Coast, I've seen like lakes as well. You know, just flat, no wind, no swell, just beautiful. And East Coast, deadly as ever. Even on those calm, peaceful days, the currents on the East Coast are deceiving. So I would recommend that you do not swim the East Coast unless you do so with someone that knows the area. West Coast is a different thing. You know, you can pretty much feel it anywhere, but if you see a swell coming in, please vacate the water, wait for it to go and then come back out again. The West Coast swells only usually last like maybe, I would say from the beginning the swell to any swell, two, two and a half days at the longest three. Otherwise to that, it'll be pretty calm. They're only created with the north, with the big cold fronts that come off of America and stuff around Christmas time. And that's when we get those huge north swells. We haven't had very active years recently, but in years gone by, when you talked about any time around late November, December, January, February, big swells all the time. But that hasn't happened for a while. All right, you may be familiar with this bay. We've done it before, it's called Schooner Bay. Anyone that has been down here in years gone by will know how small this bay is right now. Even when this sand comes back, it's going to be tiny. Anyone that's been on here as well remember the cannon that you're seeing in water there on the edge of the point, that was up on a solid surface, mounted and casted on a foundation, and that was there up to about two years ago, and it has gone now. It started to corrode a lot, well, erode a lot, and then all of a sudden, all of that land has slipped off, completely gone off now. So you will know how much has gone from there if you've been here before for sure. Spectacular scenery, spectacular bay. Just beautiful. This is what makes our walk to me worth it. Because I, we've been through me, everything is beautiful. But when you can come up and end in a bay like this, oh goodness gracious. All right, Schooner Bay itself, just to give you a quick glimpse of that. Sorry about the jerkiness, folks, but I am operating here with the umbrella in one hand and trying to adjust with the other. So just forgive any strange looking things today but this is a beautiful property as well again i remember when this is all coconut trees here but it's beautiful really a beautiful property look at this sand no footsteps in the water really fresh water high mark is no footsteps at all no one on the beach these are the reasons why i like six o'clock and as i said before i don't mind being around people that's not a problem but if i'm going to see the beauty of this island i want to see the beauty of this island <laughs> i don't want to see beach towels uh, and pleasure craft and everything around here i want to show you the raw beauty you can come at any time of day and see all the other stuff but you don't really come out at this time of morning and this is something i really would like to share with you all Yeah, so we're having some heavy rainfall coming down again. So, but we are prepared. We usually come out fairly well prepared. We've done some extreme thunder and lightning situations before. I could go across here, but as you would notice, there's a lot of moss on here. Very green. It looks definitely slippery. So, we're going to take our walk over the top here. We always exercise caution when we're doing anything. You know, tomorrow is another day. We're not just here for today. So, we're going to make sure and do the absolute safest thing that we can to preserve ourselves for another day for sure all right in the distance is the cobbler's cove hotel um, that is a beautiful facility again any of you all have stayed at cobbler's cove before would know there was lots of beach in front of there now the only way to pass in front of there is is behind those boulders between the wall itself and the protection boulders have put down there is a walkway there but i will tell you it is coral on the bottom so you're going to need shoes for sure so if you're walking the west coast, especially in the high tide that we're experiencing right now, you're going to want to walk with shoes that you can put on and take off whenever necessary. Because you're definitely going to be coming off of your sand on a few occasions, without a doubt. Even at low tide, that would be the situation, but not as much so at high tide. All right, just give me a second again. We're going to be taking our swim here. This is where we'll be finishing our day today. So just bear with me to get everything off my back again. Hmm, again, pretty good at this. I've only seen the umbrella like three times today. So, <laughs> so practice makes perfect. 
I've had an amazing week, to be honest with you. You know, we've had some weeks that have been chock-a-block from the beginning to the end. This is more of a relaxed layback week for me. I've enjoyed myself, but it hasn't been um, the busiest week, I would say. But we've seen beauty beyond belief, especially yesterday. My goodness, that was just amazing. This water is transparent. The drop-off here was nothing this morning, by the way, folks. It was pretty much straight in. Very, very gentle come off, as you can see. It's very, very gentle here today. Just little ripples and stuff where the sand is shifting and thing. Beautiful. Reflections off the water down here in the West Coast. Priceless. Just priceless. There we go. Priceless yet free. Free for everyone. Anyone that visits seashores, every beach is public. No one can tell you can't go on any beach in this island. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bay. All right, I'm gonna do something really ridiculous today. I'm gonna give you a reverse 360 followed by a forward 360. That means I'm gonna have to keep my mouth quiet for 720. So are you all ready? Let us take this one. Cheese on, a round of applause please. I did that comfortably. And a lot of people here trying to distract me and make me talk, but this morning I said I was gonna come off. Thank you, look at that, wow. Thank you very much, beautiful. Yeah, it's a beautiful day, I can't help it. I mean, we are a little bit overcast and that is something that happens. It happens anywhere in the world, but there's certainly all the beauty there. I mean, you can just look at this coastline and you can picture yourself here in this warm condition. Right now, centigrade, it's 28 degrees. I'm not sure how high it will go today. It has been doing at 31 consistently for a while now, so I would imagine it's going to be in that kind of range again. And as you can see from this view here, that the sun is coming up, and it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful day. Just a glorious day. So, as I always like to ask you all, as we're starting the morning with peace and love and just beauty, sheer beauty, I'm asking you please to take that with you today. And share that with others. Others that are not as fortunate as you to see what we're seeing today. Others that are in their own little confusion and challenges right now that may need someone like you to make their day special and take their mind off of what they're actually going through. And you do have the power to do that. I know that for sure. I know there are a lot of people that speak to me in the morning with a big smile and we actually do have a conversation. And I know how hard it is for them. I know how they're struggling. You know, you, you can see it and they will tell you but the thing is, is that they're smiling because they're finally enjoying life and someone has stopped to speak to them. Someone has actually taken time out, not just say hello and pass by, not actually say good morning and how are you going, nice to see you today, etc. Just a little conversation, a little smile. There's some people that a smile will do and you want to just give them a smile and move on. But there are other people that are begging for a little attention and love. So you have the ability to do that this morning. And you know, for all of you that are traveling here to Barbados in the near future, I know a lot of you all are. I know there's some of you on the island. I'd like to welcome you all. And to those that are coming, I'm getting ready to welcome you all. And remember, the easiest time to get me is to come walking with me in the morning. That is an assured thing. That is not a problem, but you'll have to have your own vehicle if you're far away. If you're staying at a resort or something on the south or on the west and you're interested in taking a stroll, well, we can put that into our itinerary and do that for sure. But otherwise, that any day is really hard because uh, I'm gonna go home and I have to continue this love and care for the rest of the day basically and it's not that I don't continue it anyhow but I have some commitments to the project that we're working on I have to 
address everything that has been said to me and see if anyone needs any answers to anything that they are putting forward to the EMC. I'll try and do my best to do so. So I'm pretty occupied for the rest of the day, but either which way, I will certainly try and do something and try and get to see you. Just give me a shout, let's make a plan, and let's do it. If you all are in the island for next week, we should be going hiking again. As you all know, our hycologist, he hurt his foot a couple of weeks ago, cut it on coral. We've talked about the cuts from coral already. We've explained how they take a long time to heal and stuff. Says it's a little bit tender still, but he should be good for next week. So we're planning a really good schedule for you all then. You know, you all have an amazing day and thank you for joining me again. Your companionship is my day. You know, every morning I start with you all. Every morning I share my love with you all as you all share with me. And I can feel the positiveness. You could be thousands and thousands of miles away from me and I can feel it. After all, I feel my angel in my heart every day and she's all up in Canada. So <laughs> understand you all, are, you all are also in my heart and I see you and feel you all every day. Have a fantastic day, everyone. This is our last broadcast this week, and that's something spectacular and amazing. Comes up tomorrow where I say, well, I've got to show you all, I've got to share. And if that happens, that will happen. If not, God bless you all. I'll see you all on Monday. Take care. Have an amazing weekend. And thanks again for your friendship, for your love, and for your care. Love you all. I am the Beijing Warrior. This is the beauty of Barbados through my eyes. And go forward in peace, everyone, because this is how it starts. You can maintain this for the rest of the day.